This is the Velco Weather Hazards heads up for wet snow developing early Saturday morning and some marginally strong gusty northwest winds as well. Well, today we have none of that. Uh, it's a nice reprieve. Uh, first real warm day of spring as temperatures make it into the uh, mid 50s and perhaps even lower 60s in some locations. Some high clouds spreading across the region, but that's going to be about it. Filtered sunshine looks like a beautiful day in progress. We do have a weather system off to the south of us. This is a frontal boundary that's bringing flooding rains and strong thunderstorm activity. This is going to be uh, lifting up across the region and heading across the Ohio River Valley and tracking across uh, Vermont and uh, being a little bit more problematical. Enough cold air off to the north will be pulled into the system and this will lower the uh, snow levels down to the valley floors. That whole process could involve wet snow loading, especially in our higher terrain of our northern counties. Now we'll take a look at the uh, GFS uh, model, and this only shows snowfall, so you can indicate that there's rain falling uh, across this particular area. This is valid at around uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning, and uh, it changes over to snow for this basic six-hour period here, and we're running roughly somewhere between 3 and 6 inches along the spine of the Green Mountains, uh, probably anywhere from 1 to about uh, maybe 3 inches across some of our local valleys. This will be a heavy wet snow event. Um, you're looking at probably snow to water ratios either at 10 to 1, maybe a little higher than that, but uh, the snow does pull away. The good news is that temperatures only fall to about 32 degrees and do not go too far below freezing, and this should allow for some unloading. Again, you're looking at the GFS model. Everything pulls out well out uh, past uh, really 18Z or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, just a few leftover flurries. So this is all we're looking at here. Let's take a look at the uh, European. So the European model is not nearly as aggressive with the snow. It brings it in again. You're looking at where it has been raining across uh, an area of uh, most of Vermont here, roughly again at uh, two o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Then it changes over to snow. So the transition for the European model is a little bit slower, therefore a little bit less in total accumulations. And uh, it's uh, basically again out of here by the time we get into the period uh, past around 2 o'clock. And there should be some sunshine, and that may bump the temperature up. So any wet snow loading that does occur in the northern tier areas will probably start to unload just a little bit. Total snowfall for the European model has backed off a little bit, as you can see, with uh, more of the heavy wetter snows uh, off to the north and east where the colder air is going to be. And uh, it's really this northern area. However, the American GFS... This model gives us uh, far more snowfall here and uh, in excess of uh, six inches along the northern tier areas. So this is the area we'll have to watch. I think probably eastern Franklin County, the spine of the Green Mountains, and especially Orleans and northern Essex County. Less or so for Lamoille across over to Caledonia, and far less uh, for Washington into Orange co uh, County as well. But uh, still, we'll, we'll have to see what the model trends bring us this afternoon, and this will be updated accordingly. Again, this is uh, total snowfall. Uh, through about uh, 8 p.m. on uh, Saturday night. Now there will also be a pretty stiff breeze out of the northwest as this area of low pressure tracks off to the south and east. And uh, most effectively it will uh, mix with the uh, higher altitude winds and bring those down to the surface. So we can see some wind gusts potentially in some uh, central and southern Vermont areas. Not so much where the snow loading areas will occur, but to the south and east. Uh, wind gusts could approach, uh, oh, 40 miles per hour, 35 to 40 miles per hour. This is the European model, as indicated, uh, valid at 8 o'clock, so things calm down thereafter. Taking a look at the uh, American... And taking a look at the American GFS, you can see the wind speeds uh, a lot less here. We're talking in the realm of uh, 25 to about uh, 35 miles an hour, but uh, even, even lower than that. So uh, concerns for strong... Winds look like they'll be marginal, if at all, and uh, wet snow loading issues, again, I think marginal, if at all, but the areas, the northern tier areas, need to be watched on this particular event, and, of course, any elevated area along the spine of the Green Mountains, roughly to about uh, western Washington County. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights Consulting.